No. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Stop the play. Ref, blow the whistle. Flag on the play. Offsides, double dribble, all that. Stop. Bring your attention here, please. Link will be in the description so y'all can follow along with your boy. Because maybe I'm tripping. This title says 11 good arguments. For why Dragon Ball Super, wait for it, is better than Dragon Ball Z. Whew, that, don't, that don't even sound right. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it made my vision a little fucked up. You know, I felt a little funny this morning. Maybe. Okay. Let's see here. 11 good arguments for why Dragon It says the same thing. Who wrote this motherfucker? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Eric Barnes. That's your problem. <laughs> Nobody named Eric Barnes. Just off this title alone, the next person I see named Eric, he getting body black. Be uh, let, uh, no. Let's 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 move on. Shall we? We're scrolling down. Number one. Expanded universes. What do you got to say? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? DBZ had his characters travel from Earth to space and even to the afterlife. Yet Dragon Ball Super has so much more. With the inclusion of a multiverse, defending Earth seems small compared to fighting enemies from beyond your own universe. It also allows Akira Toriyama to create some new Saiyans, doppelgangers from parallel universes and other possible stories that didn't previously exist in Dragon Ball Z. Let's talk about it. Let's wrap a taste. I'm not mad at this one right here. When Battle of Gods first came out, I definitely, my mind was just exposed to all the possibilities when they brought up all the different, you know, universes and, and everything that could be cracking off in Dragon Ball Super. I was hyped. What did they do, though? They get, let's look at some of the arcs real quick. They gave us what? Uh, uh, two re-adaptations of the movies in the lowest possible quality, you know. Then they gave us what Beers versus Shampa, the tournament. The only thing really cracking off in there was uh was what Goku versus Hit. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh y'all never mind y'all y'all liked uh what 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 they got in there they, what, what was they lineup y'all liked uh that little yellow that little yellow fat bear y'all liked oh boy didn't y'all I know some of y'all was able to relate you know uh maybe it was the I got you I got you maybe it was that little three foot seven malnourished looking saying that they no perhaps it was the knockoff Frieza that's that's nah y'all like that little build a build a, like a little Lego set that little robot that's that's what had y'all Dragon Ball Super is better than Z so expanding the universe is definitely they they had so many routes they could have taken to make that really stick. But what did they do? Made a left, then a U-turn, made a right, made another right, got on the freeway, went a couple miles down south, got off, and just ended up with this bullshit. That's what we got. We moving on. Number two, Team Universe 7. Shit, I thought I was about to read a Naruto title. While Dragon Ball Z featured former foes such as Vegeta and Piccolo teaming up with Goku and his friends to defend Earth, this team of rivals concept is much bigger in Super. Oh shit. Wait till I shit on this one. From the fandom's collected knowledge of conflicts in the DBZ series, it is hard to fathom seeing the Z fighters team up with the androids to defend the universe. Imagine how crazy it is to see Frieza join up with the team. This strange bedfellow scenario, what? And super dwarfs any of the unlikely alliances built in DBZ. I almost ended this whole video just off of this second one alone. 
So that's clearly a thing. Taking the bad guy, turning them good. And I mean damn near for everybody. I don't know fucking why they like to do that shit. When Vegeta was first introduced with Nappa, they just had this real sinister like, like feel and things was happening. Nappa, first thing he did, blam, whole city demolished in a couple seconds. Think about it. Then you had the Z Warriors all lined up ready for battle, all getting chopped down one by one until Piccolo met his fate. You see what I'm saying? And y'all want to turn this dude into a good guy? Let Vegeta stay badass. Now y'all got him in Super doing cook-offs and aprons and shit? Oh, hell no. Get, 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 get the fuck out with that. That's nothing but some bullshit. You ain't, no. No, no, no. Android 17, where the fuck did he come from? He was in the farthest spot, all the way in the back of nobody's brain. Nobody was thinking about him. But now, he, now it's tight because, because he up in there. And now he's throwing down with some of the strongest motherfuckers. Don't even get me brought up on the power levels. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I got it. Ooh. I knew this. I knew this was going to happen. My hands are getting a little shaky. <sighs> Number three. 10 times Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken combines beauty and destruction. What? Look upon this immensely colorful and powerful form. I don't even need to read nothing else right there. That's what really gets y'all hooked. These colors and these bright lights and these beams and, and, and these new forms. How many, one, two, how many new forms does this dude gotta have? I mean, it loses its essence, its value. You know, its shock value when, when you saw Goku go Super Saiyan 1. When y'all saw Gohan go Super Saiyan 2. When y'all saw the Kaioken for the first time. Come on. Now we got all these different 11th transformations. And, and, and what, what is the Ultra Instincts? Stop. Please, I'm begging you, stop. Return to having interesting stories and, and, and things that actually make sense because then you won't need to rely on some type of transformation in these gimmicks. I'm not even going to fuck with this because that's false. I don't even care about that. Universe, universal tournaments over world tournaments. That's number four. What's better than a tournament that pits the best fighters in the world against each other? What do we even know about these people? The only one that really mattered was the one that Jiren was from. Other than that, we have no background, no connection, no feeling towards any of these people. So when they was like at the point where universes were getting like eradicated, just wiped off the face of the map, I could care less. Like I have no type of like sympathy for any of these characters because there was no type of like build up with them to have me feel in some type of way. They just threw some characters at you, some different designs from different universes, and then eventually they got wiped out. What else did a tournament where the best fighters in the universe are challenging each other? One, one, uh, each other. I can't even read now. I got me all fucked up. A tournament where the best fighters in the universe are challenging each one another each one that's probably why because his, his fuck look this nigga can't even type I, I know this shit is all fucked up best believe it, the idea of the strongest motherfuckers throwing down is always going to be something that's hype but they didn't do it right they didn't do it right anything that i've seen in this tournament y'all telling me I, I can go back and just and just picture just re regular fights uh i think fucking napa versus vegeta was better than that shit you know what I'm saying? I think Piccolo fighting Tien, uh, Yamcha, and Chaozu on King Kai's planet was better than this shit. When Trunks pulled up and, and, and chopped Frieza into cold cuts, we're done. We're moving on. Number five. 
more in-depth fighting strength. Let me see what he got to say. Let me see where he's going with that. While Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super feature dynamic fights, many more of Dragon Ball Z's action is flashy, explodey, and well mindless. Boy. I told y'all, any Eric I see on these streets is getting lined up with a with a full Mayweather cock back fist. Black! I'm on sight. On the other hand, Super offers the same action and explosion, but with a bit more strategy laid out for the battles compared to its predecessor. The fighters have to come together and plan their attacks more thoroughly in order to properly take out strong opponents. Now, they got this picture of Hit. That's the only fight that I can think of where it actually, you have, you have to go up in here to figure something out. And that was just with Goku, you know, figuring out his timing and whatnot. I'm trying to go back in the archives a little bit to see if anything else was in the Super that was really popping off. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot that whole Trunks arc, and I'm glad I did when they, when they brought that back. I don't even want to think about that. That was straight ass. There was no, like, real strategy in that one. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't see no strategy in Super. Like, like, at all. Like, zero. Like, there's a negative for strategy in Super. And Z, to be fair, I'm not going to hype it up as it, as, as it had that much more strategy involved in the fights. But the, the, the fighting um, choreography was way better written and drawn out than anything Super has thrown down. Best believe you got to be strung out on coke or you got to be you, you got to be fresh out the insane uh, uh, One of them locked up joints where, where, where you in the straight jackets because if you think super has more in-depth strategy We're done. What's next six bigger stakes? May, uh, many of the main plots in DBZ involve defending earth or Nemec from a worldwide threat and super Goku and the gang now have to defend our home planet and the entire galaxy between this and battles against gods the stakes are higher for humans and saints alike but there was really let me just ask you this question did you really think Goku and them were going to lose? I didn't think so so even with the idea of everything that was at stake it's like nothing really happened. Nothing. We got this drawn out tournament in a different galaxy because he wanted to point out the, 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 the universes that, that we were going to and having these tournaments are better than the ones. The, none of these fights are even better than Dragon Ball. That's when they were really sizing cast up with some martial arts and they were boxing, throwing down. That's when the strategies, look at y'all about to have me lose it. Bigger stakes. But what, what was really at stake? The idea of the galaxy, our, our world being blown up or being you know dismissed from the universe, but like as if that was gonna happen. And nothing even really detrimental happened in that whole fight. Like I said, some of those universes that we don't even know about got, got blown up, dismissed, the powers that the little midget, the little, little thing, Zenkai, whatever his name is, he, he, he uh, got rid of the universe. He said, boop, and it was gone. And then that was like it. But what stakes were really making you feel like things were like when when in Z? Let me let me let me let me bring it back. Even just on Namek. Well, no, I, it's like I'm gonna keep going back and forth. When when Vegeta and Nappa showed up, everybody was dying until Goku got there, and Goku barely even won. He had to get the assist of, assistance of Gohan and Krillin to really help him out. Because if y'all remember, to me, Goku lost versus Vegeta due to his great ape form. Goku was done. If he did not have Krillin and Gohan helping him out, the fight would have been over. Do y'all remember that? Or I'm talking to just super fans. There was no stakes in super that made me feel like it was better in, in, than Z. And, and on Namek, we didn't even know what was going to happen. Krillin and Gohan were out there naked on their own. Vegeta pulled up. Frieza pulled up. Uh, Zarbon and Dodoria pulled up. The Ginyu Force pulled up. Goku was not around. We know Goku was going to make his appearance at some point, but the stakes was a lot higher. Frieza had to um, 
uh, Dragon Ball, Vegeta ran up in there after he got mopped up by Zarbon, caused the whole distraction, got to the Dragon Balls, threw him out the threw him out the window. You man, stop it! Female Super Saiyans. I'm not even gonna read this bullshit. I'm not. That's number seven. Not reading it. Eight. Future Trunks shines bright. There is no way on this good green earth that you're going to tell me the Trunks that we got in Super is better than the one we got in Z. I'll take the Father, no! Father! I'll take him over anything that was given in Super because it was trash. You telling me this nigga just created a lightsaber? Out of, out of thin air, out of just plain energy that came from nothing? Because remember, nobody's on, on, on his world, on his planet. He, he created this big-ass fucking sword and just chopped up Zamasu. That was it. So y'all can go ahead and have a reoccurring moment that what he did in Z, Dragon Ball Z with Frieza. Stop. We're not reading number eight. That's not happening. Godliness. You know what? This whole fucking article, that was number nine in Kaba. Look, we're done. Thank y'all for watching this video and seeing me rage the fuck out. Because all of that past, I think like number five, was straight ass. Any of y'all that know Eric Barnes, he needs to be he, ne he needs to be institutionalized. He needs help. As as if he's going to write down this article with with the idea and the belief. Let's go ahead and read the title. Eleven good arguments. For why Dragon Ball Super is better than Z. Eric, you need help. Everybody, I thank y'all for watching. Please comment below. Let me know your thoughts on what we just read. I will gladly take any of the comments and, and y'all opinions. And, and we can chop it up. Y'all can talk shit. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Turn up in the comment section. Subscribe for more videos. And we're going to catch you on this next one. Alright? Y'all be easy. And I'm going to see you. I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.